Republican Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee has offered proposals in recent weeks to break the stalemate in Congress. Senator, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, Jeff. Good to be with you. Are we going over the cliff? Well, it depends on what that means. I mean, I think that 98 percent of the people in our country uh, can be assured that at some point over the next uh, short period of time, their, their, tax, their income taxes are going to be the same. But this Congress, as you know, has been more prepared than any to deal with the big issues our nation faces. And what you're seeing, Jeff, is a dereliction of duty at every level, a lack of courage to deal with the spending issues. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, today the average American doesn't realize that there, there's 40 percent of government services that they're not paying for. Only one third of Medicare is paid for by those people who actually use it. And because there's been this charade going on where the left and right basically have conspired together to shield the American people from the true cost of government, we really don't have any constituency here to help reduce spending. Because we have not dealt with that issue, there's been no progress on the entitlement spending, this is unfortunately going to carry on to the debt ceiling debate. And what that means is every American is going to be harmed because the economy is not going to be what it should be. So because we have lacked the courage to face up, to deal with these issues, we here in Washington are going to hurt the American economy. We're going to hurt Americans at every level. And to me, it's, a, it's just a travesty that we've not been willing to deal with this issue when for the last two years, Jeff, we have known this time is coming. No Congress has been more prepared to deal with this issue than us. Senator, and do you think any progress is going to come from this meeting this afternoon? Let me ask you about that. Well, here, probably the worst case scenario will come out of this meeting today, and that is we will kick the can down the road, Jeff. We'll do some small deal, and we'll create another fiscal cliff to deal with this fiscal cliff. Again, a total lack of courage lack of leadership. Senator Corker, does Congress realize how ridiculous this looks to the American public? Dueling press conferences, zero substance. Yeah. We are minutes away from a deadline here, and it doesn't look like anyone in Washington yeah. is taking it seriously. I think most of us understand it. I, I think you guys know that I've laid out a very detailed bill to deal with it. I shared, shared it with the White House, with Speaker Boehner, with leaders at every level. I've, I've, I've put forth an entitlement reform package. The problem is we don't want to face up with, to the tough issues that our nation is dealing with. And, and, and yes, I think we understand that. We should not be having candidly backroom meetings. The reason we have these closed door meetings is, again, we don't have the courage to debate these issues out on the Senate floor. So that no one gets the blame. The Instead, everybody right. gets the blame. Uh, that, that's exactly right. I, I want to ask you a question uh, about um, Speaker Boehner. And Plan B didn't work out. His own party didn't right. vote for it. I wonder, would he be willing to put to vote something he knows the GOP isn't going to back, but he knows the Democrats will and it will get us to a deal? I, I don't know what he's thinking about. I've spent a good deal of time with him recently. I really think what should happen today is on the Senate floor. We should go ahead and take up uh, the issue of taxes, and we should try to pass legislation and send it back over to the House. I mean, that's, uh, I think, where the real play ought to be. To this, this afternoon's meeting feels much to me like optics to make it look like we're doing something. But mm -hmm. let, let me just say one more time, this is a total dereliction of duty at every level. I've been very surprised that the, the president has not laid out a very specific plan to deal with this, but candidly, Congress could have done the same. And I think the American people should be disgusted. This is going to drag on out into next year. The economy is going to be weakened mm -hmm. as a result, and it's all because of a total lack of courage here in yep. Washington to face up to the real issues that Americans and, and again I'm sorry Americans we have, have to been, wrap it up okay. there Senator Corker okay. but we do appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Senator good Thank to you. see you sir. Thank you very much.